<laughs> we want to know the experience at the front lines, the protest, what's been happening, what's been your experience like, um, and tell us about the energy you, 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 you see there. I think I've been at the front line of every protest in the last decade. Right. Um, listen, this one is different. Mm. This one is different. Um, we, 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 we've come to this point where we see um, a resilience that we haven't seen before in young people. Um, you know that phrase, we die here? Yeah. That's the mantra. Mm. That's the mantra. It's almost like, you know, people have seen the light and they're not willing to taste the darkness anymore. Right. So, Ufama, um, I saw a video you posted yesterday. Uh, you were actually advising the president. And um, you said some very important things that this is just like an opportunity for the president to step in and take the glory that the youths are giving to him because the world is watching. Now, uh, what do you expect at this point that the government should do? See, there is everything that can go wrong would usually go wrong. Forget it. Even if we vote Jesus tomorrow, right? Something, Jesus will do something that will make us say, you know what, we don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. It is how you approach that anger, how you approach that, um, that um, resistance that would either make you the hero or not. Mm -hmm. This is, I don't think we've had this kind of, of, of audience ever, mm -hmm. you know, where, where Jack himself, you know, is tweeting and saying, I stand with you guys yeah, and yeah. SARS and um, international artists are saying, listen, these people say they have had enough, give them a break. And we're now at a point where we're saying, we have a five points demand. Yeah. If you look at those demands, I don't, there's no one that is, you might look at young people and say, you know, they're crazy, they do crazy stuff. There is not one of those demands that is out of place. Mm -hmm. It's not even, it's not even a big deal. It should be something that you should do normally. Mm -hmm. And here you are, you know, you have young people protesting, you mm -hmm. have the world you. watching you. This is a stage where you can say, you know what, guys, let's do what we normally should have done. We're wrong. We didn't do it, right. but it's fine. The world is watching now. We can be the heroes. Right. We can be the ones yeah. who changed the status quo. We can be the ones who, who, who righted the wrongs that generations before us had wronged. Right. The, the president is saying, you know what, we're going to constitute a panel. What is with Nigerian constituting committees? <laughs> who taught us this thing? Hey. Who taught us this thing? We want to cook rice, we'll constitute committee. <laughs> we want to add salt into the rice, we'll constitute committee. Why? Mm. And then we're now finding out that the Human Rights Commission, which is there anyway to handle this issue, has I been without know. a governing council since this administration came into power. It doesn't even make any sense whatsoever. Mm. Right, right. Sometimes I wonder where our priorities are. Mm. We're not asking for too much. We're not saying, give us work, sir, mm. which we should be asking for, but we're not even saying that. Mm. We're not saying, give us road. We're not saying, give us light. Mm. We're right. simply saying we want to be alive. So I'm told that we have AY on the phone. BC had a question. Go ahead, please, BC. All right. Um, good morning, AY. Egbon. I call you Egbon. Um, I am curious because I know that the protest has been ongoing and there's a lot of the youths are really showing up and the energy is high. But I want to know what's the plan, what's the way forward. And I know that everybody's hiding. Nobody <coughs> wants to take ownership of this. Nobody yes. wants to come out to say we are the leaders. But don't you think that at some point you would need people to stand in so that they can liaise with the government? Well, so far so good. The fight or the protest, so to speak, has given us a voice. Now, this is a time where we need to really sit down and have a conversation. And uh, like I'm trying to also tell some of my people, uh, especially those of us who are also on the street, uh, let's find a way to meet midway because whatever we're asking for, we cannot get automatically. Mm. It cannot be automatic. Right. So okay. that's why I'm talking about giving timelines and right. uh, you know, following due process and I'm very sure we'll get the result that we need. Princess, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. So, Princess, you've told us what you, your response is to the government of Lagos State, but this is beyond Lagos State. This is a national movement with young people. Um, in your view, how do we begin to bring everything back home such that there is a direction? I think that's what the ladies and I have totally agreed here, that we, are just, we, we identify with the protest, but there has to be some kind of direction at some point. In your view, how, where do we take this? What are the next steps? Well, why I started with Lagos State is we all know how things work in this country. 
And the reaction of the president brought tears to my eyes. It's very obvious some people don't want us to move forward now. That's why I said so. Because I believe if each state begins to take action immediately, some people will realize that they are being left behind and be forced to move on. Mm. But generally, not as, a, as a whole, the first thing I will say to all the protesters and even those that are not coming out is, let's just maintain the peace the way we have been doing so that they know that we are not directionless, that we are not senseless. They are trying to portray us as bad people when they actually are the bad people. But generally, the government should realize one thing. The policemen themselves, who are even being bitter, attacking citizens, why, instead of doing that, those people that you are guarding, that are exploiting us, why don't you come together and say, OK, today, tomorrow, we won't work. We'll leave you. Leave that place. Leave them. Now you need to guide them. Leave them. Make us see what they go do. You, should, you two should take a step. We are fighting for everybody, not for ourselves alone. Princess, and our parents. What are, what are the thugs? There are thugs amongst legitimate protesters okay. who are aggravating the situation. How do we deal with the thugs? Those thugs, those thugs did you see when they caught them? Did you see what they said yesterday, especially in Abuja, Bega? Somebody took them there to say, go and disrupt this rally, yeah. this peaceful rally. Mm -hmm. The one in Lagos, some people arranged for it to be disrupted. It showed, that's why I was telling you that I started with Lagos State because I know that if we start little by little in little units, if we start here, River Start, Ondoko Start, at a point, we'll, we'll come together. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Those thugs, it's obvious they are not one of us. I've not, all the rallies, I, I'm cooking now, I'll soon be there. Every time I go out, I've never seen anybody, even, even some policemen that remove their uniform to join, being very, very being a tout or acting rowdy. No! So we know that if we catch you, oh my God. Look, 